All right, surprise, surprise stream. Hello. I hope my uh, controller has enough battery for this. Oh yeah, you're fine. You are fine. So what are we doing today? I am going to attempt something real cool. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop doing it. I get it. You just want to load up your pre widow video. That's great. All right, so what are we doing? Today, I want to triple star uh, some of the stuff, the tracks I didn't do yet. This is, I keep saying this to people when I said this idea, is that I don't want to, I'm not doing multiplayer. Let me put this out there. I am not doing multiplayer. I'm doing 200cc, mirror 150 and 150. And as you notice, I have all these beautiful triple stars on base game. Yeah, we have a lot to do. Even on 150, I started with, looks like I finished cup, so maybe we'll just continue with 150 and go through all the tracks for two hours. This is mainly for me. Uh, we're, we're sporting Link uh, for 150 and 150 mirror. Uh, when we get up to 200 cc we're gonna go with lemmy in fact um as this is going let me uh put this on my twitter let me uh plug this a bit real quick i need i need to plug i need to plug myself i am only small storima um triple starring crap and traps come hang out that gotta go uh plug it onto a couple of things and gotta go plug it there gotta go plug it here i hope it's all right oh i don't see the plug can you see that no you can't that's good hi rose we're gonna triple star some tracks as soon as i figure out where to plug it in uh in cj's discord <laughs> Can you tell me where that is? <laughs> Hi CJ, where do I plug in, in, in um, sideline discord? I feel, I feel bad not joining for your streams. I want to, but then I'm just like... Okay, thank you so much. So I plugged in there, that's being plugged there. So yeah. That's all I can do. <laughs> so. This is kind of a capture card test as well. Because I want to see how difficult it's going to be for me. Plus, I need to do these anyway. And I thought, what better time to do them while streaming? So it looks like I already did Rock Cut 150. Okay, thank you. So, okay, so I do Rock Cup. I'm... <laughs> Cut. Anyway. <laughs> I guess we're going Moon Camp with 3DS Ren Rainbow Road. Oh, is that all? I guess I'm not that far behind anyway, but at the same time, I need to do 150 and 200, so. Hi, Tinnitus. How you doing today? You going, babe? That's real good. Shut up, Tinnitus. Jeez. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Berlin Byways. Where the... Swamps make up the holes in the Berlin Wall. What? What is the implication of that? Apologies, I'm probably. Not only am I really. Oh god. I made the wrong turn. Thanks, Lock too. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. How are levels, by the way? Can I see something? Power levels. Maybe I'll j I'm gonna put speakers down a bit because I don't want. To. Sorry for the clickiness. I'm very aggressive with my controller. Get out of here. We're just gonna be yell nice. We're gonna be yelling at CPUs today. Then again, I'm just starting. Uh, no items? Then 
Thank you ever so much. You know, getting blooper is like not really much of a problem, but it is a problem when you don't know the road you're on. We out CPUs all the time in Madden League. I saw you, you were playing a racing game before. But I'm like, what is a racing game without items or anything? Daytona is just on, like the actual Daytona. My dad was like, wow, look at all those cars bumper to bumper. And that's just what L LA traffic is like, except really, really fast. LA traffic speed run. That's what it is. Nice. Some, all I know is that some guy with Kroger stuff won. And it made me had a funny thing. Ah, stop it! it made me had a funny thing. If racing were huge, for YouTube streamers at least, I can imagine like half of the sponsorships for, a U for YouTube streamers are just like, wow, this is awful. I was having really bad luck my first time in Berlin Wall and I'm not doing so well. Gorbachev, help me! Gorbachev! Put this wall on the other racers! Oh, good. I find Mario Kart with no shells with equal amounts of danger. Okay, I'm not. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that. <laughs> Gorbachev, help me. That was Nixon, right? Please tell me I was correct in saying that was Nixon who said that. So I get Nixon, some other guy confused. Nix. Make sure that's alright. <sighs> Let's go through Berlin again. I don't like Berlin. I'm not a huge fan of this. Paris is way too easy. Berlin's way too hard. I like New York. New York has a fine track. There's just too much going on. And the swamps that make the wall take up half of the car- half of the road space. Please. What do you mean you can't drive on the tracks? What? What to mean? Oh my god. It's just luck. It's just terrible, terrible luck. Alright. I'm in a better place than what than was last time. Last time. First lap. Right, Amp's presentation. That's what. It, what do you mean, Amp? What did he do? Am I? Am I really that bad? All right, that worked. That didn't work. He <laughs> me running straight into a nanner. Every time I fail on this track, I have to yell, Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down these races! Get your triple nanners out of here. Yeah, that's right, Yoshi. Good job, Yoshi. I didn't even need that. Now we just maintain me. And miss coins. That's great. I'm just doing regular 150, right? Yeah. I heard tricking. Yeah. Me going blindly into a road led me into some kind of weird shortcut. Come on, come on, come on!
Alright. Kill that. Come on. And made it. Alright, now let's see how the rest of the race is going to fare. The rest of this god awful cup that I need to revisit two times. <sighs> By presentation footage, you need to prove yourself to be in the Mario Kart League. Uh, Lemmy. We're gonna be playing as Lemmy when we have the fun. Oh, preseason. I guess you could count this as preseason. This is me trying to get accustomed to all the new tracks I didn't do. I can't even say missed out on, because I'm just being lazy at this point. I have to get everything up to triple stars. I just have to. Have you seen my my account? account? Save file, more like. Okay, this I just remember from DS. Like, this is easy. Except there's no snaking. That's the only thing. Get it. Ah. Uh, that trajectory. That trajectory messed me up. That makes sense. Out of me. I just heard it. Heard Lemmy get eaten. Just completely devoured by that blue shell. Yeah, it blew up. I don't even think I hit anybody. It just blew up. Well, that's a lot. I don't even know if this is gonna be two hours or longer. I'm gonna do as long as it takes. Ooh. Oh, come on. Did you see that banana on the way down? I sure did. Ah! I was looking at what items I had. I can't look at the road. I'm gonna fail my driving test. <laughs> Get out of here, Pink Gold Peach, you irrelevant character! I keep hitting my favorite. <laughs> uh, is there a shortcut? Kinda, I can just do this. I have no... Oh no, do I have to go to Mr. Gorbachev's political maddening uh, Berlin trip? <laughs> I think I might too. Might have to, because I keep hitting all these not... Okay. No, no saving from that. Time for Mr. Gobertrov's wild ride. <laughs> I don't like Berlin. I don't like this track at all. I have to go through Merry Mountain as well. To end my suffering. I have yet to hit 3DS Rainbow Road. I only went up to Merry Mountain. Oh, when I played this on my own before. <laughs> What's your favorite Link quote? Mine is when he says, Skank? <laughs> Daisy, let me, uh, Daisy, come back. Oh my god, your foot tails, Daisy. Whatever. So you gotta. I saw you get that coin. Oh! No, no! I have nothing! No defense! No defense at all! Angry bus. Even though my VTuber is not angry, I only have two hands after all. Get out of here. If anything, I should keep running second until a blue shell happens. Wait. Uh, my favorite... <laughs> my art book got leaked! I saw that! Uh, my friend called me just before. Because he did like... I wasn't sure if I was streaming, but I had time. Uh, dinner was already made. Everything was good. And my friend's like, oh, 
did you hear that the Zelda art book got leaked? I didn't see each and everything, but that's funny. Almost as funny as the time that um, Street Fighter VI was coming out. And they leaked all the characters, but it seemed almost intentional. God. What was that? Excuse me. That was rude and impolite. Okay, that, that, I accept. I accept whatever happened here. I don't accept that. I don't accept that. Oh. <laughs> Give the picture of Anya, but as Link, and it's like, oh no, oops, I just dropped my art book. What a very clumsy thing for me to do. I'm referring to Anya from Spy Family, of course. I think here, drop the, uh... Oh, I need that. The uh, thwomps got me. The thwomps got me in the background. It's fine. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want it to go down Gorbachev's wild ride. I don't like Gorbachev's wild ride. <laughs> what do we call Paris? Who's the president of Paris? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Who is the president of France? Not Paris. I mean, we could say who the mayor of Paris, Paris is. Oh my god. Ah! I love it when green shells just crash in you straight from the wall. Ricochet is off the wall. Trage trajectories itself be smashed in the air, really. That's how Teslas are made, actually. Did you know that? Teslas are designed to crash into you. All this science nonsense goes on. It's like, we have designed the Tesla to crash directly into any human. Has science gone too far? I love all this pleasant music happening and I'm just screaming about running over people. Great. Yeah. Bet didn't even hit him. Oh, there you are. Oh, I narrowly missed that nanner. That's good. That means I'm getting better. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, coins were in Mario Kart DS, weren't they? They were, like, introduced in DS. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Well, not introduced, more like reintroduced. Coins were in. Uh, coins were introduced in, um, Mario Kart the SNES, which I believe is the first one. Ugh! No, 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 no! I don't want to go back on Mr. Gorbachev's wild ride! Oh, I needed that boost! Alright. That's one, that's one. Alright. Okay, do we pass him? Are we passing me? I can't tell. Still in front of me. Oh! Oh, I think I got it. Hold on. I'm so close. Oh, wait! Oh no! I didn't see that! No, 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 no! Mr. Corbatron's wild ride! There should have been Mario Kart for the Virtual Boy. Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine what that would do to people? That... That is sickness waiting to happen. <laughs> what is... Rose, what is a rose? <laughs> that... You mean, you mean a rage quit? <laughs> also high nine blade. Why does it say you're not modded yet? It's making me mad. Once I'm off Mr. Gorbachev's wild ride, I'm trying to mod you again. <laughs> you need to be nerfed. Oh god. I was reading! I was reading chat! Yeah, I didn't see the turn. It looked like a straight row to me. Row strats, but it's barely even a strat. Oh. At least I'm learning the tracks, but I, I kinda hate this cup. No, the goal was for me to triple star all these cups. Now I've yet to experience one of the best rainbow roads. That being the reeds. I thought, I thought Peach Gardens was supposed to be easy. Just Gorbachev! <laughs> This track is terrible. Okay. This track is terrible. The music's annoying. The, the bombs in the Berlin Wall are worrisome. I think this is some kind of pro-Japanese or pro-American propaganda to give Berlin the worst track possible. Ugh. I, I'm, not. I'm not. It's not good. Nothing about that was excellent. <laughs> it does. Here, let me see if I can mod you real, real quick. It says you're a mod, but it's not giving me the funny badges. Iron Blades, can I call you by your real name? I don't know if you're okay with that. I don't know. Either way, who is who is the president during the fall of the Berlin Wall? Was that Nixon? So so called history minor over here. Self proclaimed history minor. Oh yeah, I get Nixon and Reagan confused with each other, that's it. They're both very annoying. <laughs> Reagan and Bush. But Reagan was the one that said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, make the worst track imaginable. Everything terrible always points back to Reagan. Because this track is off I blame Reagan. <laughs> I blame Reagan for this track. And Gorbachev. I blame both of them. <laughs> wow, I hit that taxi and nothing happened. Oh my god, why did it turn like that? <laughs> Sunday is a nice time to stream. Only I can stream every Sunday. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, safety. And safety is our number one priority. I say as a smash head person with us. I'm not doing so well. Traffic. Okay, I. I try to drift to the right, and then I hit. The arrows. 
that apparently have a very shallow out of bounds. There's not a wall or anything that can stop you. It's just, nope, lack two picking you up. I don't look at the tour tracks that much if you haven't noticed. Tour tracks. The tour tracks can go screw themselves. Rather be playing 200 CC, but I know I'm just gonna do it anyway. 200 CC is fun to me. Everything else is a slog and annoying. At least with 200 CC, I can go past these buses and cars so fast. And sure, I can smash into them fast too. See this track? Why is it the cold war? Yeah, it did. And I don't know why the thwomps are like the thwomps are in the wall. Does that mean like Ra like Reagan and Gorbachev or Cannon to the Mario universe? I mean, also make like it might also make a canon of everything that happened in Mario is missing, which is just learning about like geography and history. New Jersey was mentioned. Do you think they're gonna be making New Jersey jokes in the Mario movie? It's like the Mario Bros, you know, Chris Pratt and Charlie Day are gonna be like, yeah, what Brooklyn represent? We're not like joy -Z. That's what's gonna happen. Keep dashing too fast. Unavoidable blue shell, go! What if Wario's cameo has eyes from New Jersey? Wario and Waluigi. There should be a second Mario movie. And Wario Wa and Waluigi uh, appear in that. And they, and the new, like the new thing is that they're from New Jersey. And they just scoff at the whole thing. It's like, oh, New Jersey. I'm gonna put it on my Mario movie bingo card that they're gonna mention Jersey. Jeez, jeez! Watch out! Oh my god. Hazard's on the road. At least it's getting a lot better. I know all the twists and turns now. Okay, that's good. Being a lot better. Your life is with me now. Now we can move on to other tracks. I hope that's the end of it. Unless Rainbow Road like to screw me over. Or even this has been screwing me over. I haven't even made it to the third track yet. Why are Wario and Waluigi not going to be in the movie, but apparently Spike is going to be in the movie? Like, Spike from uh, Wrecking Crew. Like, does anybody actually remember Wrecking Crew? I sure don't. So hard Mario lore expert. Watch out, Peach. Watch out, Peach! Hey! Hey! Hey, Peach! Hey! You're not so much a peach, yeah. Oh, wrinkly woman. <laughs> hey. Getting back in the controls of this game, that's great. I didn't even realize how long I've been in first floor. That's nice. Oh yeah, they changed this track up, didn't they? Alright, alright. They added tour elements on this track, and I don't know why.
I mean, it's cool, but it kind of, like, the tour arrows are a bit annoying. Nice movement! I like that. I like what I'm seeing right now. Map looks good. Road looks nice. Chat is active. I'm having a nice day today. I got splooged on! It's great. Get this splooge off my screen. Thank you. <laughs> Splooge is not good when you're doing new tracks. Oh, I thought that was a rage match. It's a shell. That's not good. Okay. I'll just accept my fate right here. No. I keep thinking that's like the end of the race and I'm screwed. Oh, oh, and I take a wrong turn, and I lose. Inside, 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 outside, inside, outside. Larry! Time for Mr. Gorbachev's wild ride again. <laughs> It's not like I can't triple star things. Look at my entire account. It's so full of gold. Filled with gold. We're gonna get there. We're improving. We're steadily improving each and every time. That's me biting my controller. Mm. Uh -uh. Do you think do you think the secret Mario brother if there's a third Mario brother he was the one that was in the Cold War? The Cold War did that. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that. We didn't really do much. You have to be careful on this track. You gotta go right between the lines. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna try this. It's in the middle of the road. Who is that right behind me? Yeah. Yeah, why didn't you eat that shell? What happened to my item? Pretty sure I ran into that. Excuse me? Eat my shell. Eat him! Protect me. Every racer is gonna. Luigi! Luigi, why'd you push me? Luigi! Oh yeah, I haven't told chat what I call a certain Mario character. <laughs> Maybe I won't until she becomes relevant. <laughs> no, I'll tell this, I'll tell the story now, because this is actually pretty hilarious. I go downstairs one day and my like a bunch of my brother and a bunch of his friends are over. I'm like, hey, what y'all doing? And they're playing not smashing the cars, they're playing Mario Party. Mario Party. Um, Mario Party Superstars, the recent one for the Switch. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Um, somebody's tapping out when you play, and so I did. They were just playing mini games. And of course, somebody has to pick Rosalina because, well, Rosalina is just popular. And I just refuse to call her Rosalina. And so I'm like, oh, hey, you're playing Roslyn. And just 10 people are like, Roslyn? Yeah, Roslyn. Look, it's Roslyn. The point of Rosalina. <laughs> it's disrespectful because she knocked Daisy. She basically knocked Daisy out of popularity. And Daisy, I feel like, needs a lot more love. Poor Daisy. If there's a. I keep saying, Mario uh, Mario Land needs to have a nice remake because the only way of playing Mario Land is just 
putting up with those really tiny, super outdated graphics when really you need a Mario 3, Mario 3U style, not Mario 3U, what did I say Mario 3U, <laughs> Monster Hunter 3U. You need like a Mar new Super Mario Bros styled Mario Land. Well, saying we got Mario Land, I guess is Mario 3D Land, which is a totally another game in, like, in general. This is a Mario Land Erasure is so heartbreaking. If you look at Daisy now, do you even know that she ruled Sarasaland, a desert area with aliens and such? And you're like, what the hell is Sarasaland? Well, if they actually remade Mario Land, you'll know what the hell it is. Bring Mario Land back. Remake Mario Land or else I'll have to do it. Even you can't, you can't really remake it. A Mario Maker because that's like different enemies. That's when Nintendo is actually being experimental. Maybe that's why they want to like totally forget about Mario Land. It's too different, too experimental, and yet oh, we're gonna have Sunshine, which was an extremely experimental 3D Mario. Did I even play Mario Land? No, because it's so tiny. It's an, it's an easy cash grab. It's an easy Mario game to make. The case in a Mario in prison, but not back to Sarasaland. Exactly. I'm just mad at, at the Mario Land Erasure. Furious. Also furious at Toadette. Toadette! Toadette has more love than anything in Mario Land. Toda is like a extremely forgettable character. What's a Mario character that was like that only had recent fame? And not being a new character, but a returning one. Like Spike? Not Spike the Wrecking Crew character. That doesn't count. But it might, I don't know. But Spike the the crate creature. There's no reason that Spike it should have been in Mario Tennis Aces. You know? No reason that Ninji gets into Mario, um, the golf game that was easily forgotten about. And now they're gonna have a new baseball game. And what forgettable enemy are they gonna put in there this time? No. Oh. I'm getting Mario Karted so hard. This game does not want me to triple star. Did you see all that? Have fun with football. If anybody can just pass the word around that I'm losing in Mario Kart. <laughs> that, that last one. That last one it was so bad. <laughs> Mr. Gorp Child's Wild Ride. <laughs> it is, and it's painful. It's so much pain. I don't want to go to Berlin again. I swear, I'm gonna go to Berlin one day, and then I'm gonna get PTSD from this night in particular. I go to Berlin and say, "Wow, this is the worst Mario Kart track I've ever I've ever experienced." Oh, good, jo <laughs> good job, uh, Larry. There he is holding that. Will I finally get this? Yes, I will. I've not gotten that for like three races in a row. That first jump. Nice. Nice. Full coins. I got banana. Coin front because of boost. That's what I learned. 
What do you think these cars think about all these racers just getting to the lanes or whatever? Who allowed this? Code probably. Code was like, yeah, let's go race in traffic. And then Toad got <laughs> gunned with major car accident and just ambulanced away. That was a real Mario Kart commercial, by the way. That was that was a real thing that happened. Some guy in it, some poor guy in a Toad outfit. Oh, that still hit me. That still hit me. Thanks, Mario. Yep. Oh yeah, now I'm throwing bombs in the street. <laughs> what about this? God, that... That... Get away. Get away! I'm not giving the satisfaction of riding my coattails like that. Nice. Not nice! What was that? Did you see that? Like... What is it? Hitbox? That was like inches away from me. Thank you for lurking, Alec. Do not. Why it was not Mario? Why me? There's no way. There's no way. I thought I was gonna have fun and easy time. Remember to do your hand stretches. That's what I'm doing right now. All right. Moon cup. More like. <laughs> oh, we're sure it's a timer that says how long I've been streaming. It's not on a slab. Yeah, this is my favorite Zelda game. Racing in traffic. <laughs> Link, <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Link goes racing in traffic. Thank, you. thank you. Uh oh wow. I'm just like, am I really gonna spend an hour on the same hop, on the same track? Am I really that bad at Mario Kart? I don't know if it's- if it, I can't tell if there's delays or not. Maybe it feels like that, but it's just not that- it's not- if there is, I'm not really feeling it. And then you get somebody who's like an expert on latency. It's like, oh, what? It feels like you're broadcasting to the moon. And it's like, what are you talking about? I can move my character. It's not like I'm playing on Stadia. Stadia, you broadcast to the moon. Well, Stadia's dead now, but you know. What Stadia? The kids ask, the Zoomers ask me. Something that you would never have to put up with, sweetheart. No. I went the wrong way. I didn't see the arrow. Ho ho! Never mind, I'm just going. It's only the second shot, but. Ugh. Ugh. I can just do that without worrying about those pesky bombs. Wario! Wario! Get over here! Oh. I didn't get that. White? <laughs> Woohoo! That's what you sound like, Donkey Kong! Yeah, yeah. Let me get to Peach Gardens. Let me get to Peach Gardens without things just blasting into me. Oh 
Oh my god! Precision bananas. No, I just gotta quit while I was ahead. Gotta quit while I'm ahead. One more try, and maybe I'll just go straight to 200 CC and say, "Look how much easier this is." Look away, everyone! Saying, "Oh, 200 CC is so hard." This that's most annoying, and then you have to do the same thing but mirrored. What? I think I already did this on 200 CC. I, for I honestly forgot. No, I couldn't have because I didn't experience a uh, rainbow road. If I fail one more time, I swear I'm just gonna do the same thing. I don't know. I don't care if I'm skipping something. I just want to prove a point that I have so much better. So much of a better time going 250 CC. There's only one track that bothered me on 250. What the hell was that? I just got railroaded! I thought I could be clever and go on the train. No. No. Yeah. I can't do anything with my life. True, that's a true statement. Get out of here. I love it when you use the horn, your eardrums get blasted out. Like you can't like legitimately the um everything else gets muted and I skip item bosses. That that is not a fun feature too. When you're deaf, you're also blind. shell. see a blue shell. That's real cool. And a red shell. And a blue shell. Just stop me in my chair. What? 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 <laughs> what happened there? I guess a red shell kind of saved me from further annoyance. I don't even need to put up with those. Alright, I don't want it. Peach, don't screw me now. Peach Gardens, that is. Now the game's like, no, don't have, don't do 200 CC, don't have fun. We don't have fun when we're playing video games. No, every step must be agonizing, torture. I held off doing my work for this. <laughs> That's okay. Tomorrow's President's Day, so... Alright, fine. Okay. Ooh, nice green shell, bro. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, I like that too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that what whatever the hell just happened that shell too. That was a real, real good thing. Not a fan of that fence, though. <laughs> Not a Okay, 
When he says I, he sounds like he's saying egg. Like he wants eggs. Eggs. Link, what do you want for breakfast? Egg. Good job, Link. There was a post on Twitter going around that was like, um, uh, fun Zelda facts. And I didn't really process this before, but Toon Link in Wind Waker is the only time that Link actually spoke of, like, a coherent, coherent thing. And that's when Link... Whoa! And that's when young Toon Link, when he has, a um, like a friend with him. Stop! When he has a friend with him, he goes, Come on! That was the only time Link actually spoke in. In game. I'm not talking about the animated series, that didn't count. Toon Link has such a personality. I'm not discrediting any other Links. The only Links that re had, like, true personality. Oh my god! Was Toon Link <laughs> and Twilight Princess Link. Twilight Princess Li Link was lovely dopey. And, well, Breath of the Wild Link mi might as well be his own character. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? No, no, I still have time. Come on. Oh, that's good. How much farther? Oh my god, there it is! We can finally move on to different tracks! Two more tracks, two more tracks! Of this awful cup. Then I have to do it in reverse, reverse. Brrr. Merry Mountain? Merry Mountain? Oh boy, it's Hermes! I have to look. I have to go look in every single window for the single Hanukkah representation. Do you think there is one on this track? Just a really small window with a tiny menorah inside. And that's all the um, Hanukkah representation you get. Is this first use in December or January? I love it how they brought um, the G, uh, G force, G whatever, zero gravity. That's it. G force was a stupid movie about stupid guinea pigs. Oh boy! I love not running on time. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And that just dead on Miss Toadette. Toadette's been such an issue. Oh. Oh, how did I live? How did I live? Have you noticed that in the first wave there was absolutely no zero gravity? And that made me worried. And it's like, oh, I know this is technically, technically free because you just get it with online subscription or whatever. Or did I buy this? I, I forgot. Anyway, it's, it wasn't that much more for this uh, collection of tracks. But, like... Oh god, what am I saying? Oh yeah, but the first round... But the first wave had absolutely no zero gravity in it at all. But that didn't matter, because the next wave did. And I assumed there would be no more character, like no more new characters. They're just not doing it, and then all of a sudden, oh, Birdo's here. Quality jump between wave one and two was insane. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Hello, love the battle pass, though. Yes, we beat Christmas. We beat the Christmas.
Happy Hanukkah. Oh, and here's my Hanukkah present. It's three, it's Rainbow Road. With the most beautiful Rainbow Road, like, music track. They better do this justice. Unless if this is just copy and paste from 3DS, in which I wouldn't be surprised because the track itself is amazing. Maybe it's improved because I haven't listened to this track in a while. I know it's just a remix and 64 music, but it's still good. Also, the fact that they have a... a is this a loop? Wait, wasn't 3DS not a loop? Like, wasn't 3DS like a one-way loop track? Why does it look like it goes in the circle? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, they just go this track up? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Unless if they they added tour elements to this track. They did! They did add tour elements to this track. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I gotta compare 3DS because what I really liked about 3DS tracks like Boo Boo Loop and this is that it was a one way thing. Well, they had, they already have that in here with the Wario Mountain. Why is this? You go, go in a complete circle. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I need defensive items. No, I'll that. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I'm just being extremely skeptical. Oh, the spinnies! Oh, I'm a fan! So much of a fan. Do you think on Nintendo's part, this entire thing of adding courses, which is kind of like a sudden idea they had, Sure, they need time to develop all the tracks, sure. We did it! Oh my god! We did it! 60 boy -o! We can finally we can finally move on. 60 boy -o! 60! That's that's good. Now we can finally move on with uh, 150. If there's more to move on with 150. Let's see what we got. We got 150, 150 mirrored and 200. At least I'm learning the tracks. Okay. Is there anything more or some moon cup? Oh, there was. Moon cup triple. Yeah, alright. Then we move on to. Um, 150 mirror. And we gotta go back to um hot cup. <laughs> hot cup. You know, like the chicken. You know, like the chicken, like the rooster. The rooster. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to London. London in reverse. Somebody mirrored London. Oops. Whoopsie doodles. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just in the arrows. Now why are there any cars in London? Oh that's that's because everybody Brexited. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that uh, Splatoon girl. Girl from Splatoon. <laughs> Alright. That's a good part to that. Maybe things were start. I go swimmingly. Nope. I get caught up on a bench. Never mind. Bark, 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 bark. 
Papa. Banand. Bonanza. That's better. That's better, Mario Kart. That's what I like to see. Yep. Distance. Get distance. Push your distance away from me, please, and thank you. Yo. Nine blades. If you're here, can you tell me if the sound levels are alright? Or am I still a very quiet bug? Or am I trying to speak over the music and engine sounds? I would like that input, please. Ah, oh, thanks. I know I'm always competing with baby voice. I should have kept that coinage. Um, now if a boo comes over, it'll grab my horn when I must need it. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. There was an interesting video I saw about dodo birds and saying like the real, real reason that dodos went extinct. They weren't made for this world. They were pure innocent creatures. I guess saving you a click from that video of Dodo birds were a uh, were originally pigeons, like a type of pigeon at one point. But the pigeons flew to an extremely secluded island without any animals or predators or anything, and all it grew were like yummy, delicious fruits. And so the pigeons on the island, knowing that there's no predators, said, "Why don't we live here?" And so the pigeons lived there for, for a very long time, long enough to evolve into a different species that had no need for fight or fight instincts, um, or like to fend off predators because there was no predators, there's only food. So the dodos could live a life of peace and harmony away from other creatures that might harm them. Grown fat with, without the ability to fly or without the ability to have fight or flight instincts. The only problem is that when humans came along, uh, the Dutch specifically, and said, well, we found dodo birds. And they thought they were so great, because they were, dodo birds were amazing, and they brought them over. And with the Dutch in their ships, they brought dogs that would eat the dodo birds, they brought rats that would destroy the dodo's eggs. And so their perfect harmony, their perfect harmonious um, island was ruined by rats and dogs brought along by humans. And the humans took him to other places around the world, like Canada and whatever, and they had no chance against any predators whatsoever. And thus the dodos died off because they were literally not made for this cruel, unjust world. The dodos were too innocent to live. And that is just so heartbreaking. Dodo should be the true symbol of world peace. If there was any peace in the world. I spent this whole race talking about how sad the live lives and deaths of the Dodos were. Their lives were, were really good until it was ruined. Also, fun fact, I'm not experiencing any lag spikes yet. When I was playing Mystery Dungeon, there's and Mystery Dungeon and Bug Tables, lag spikes galore, but not so much here. And Chrome is running, oh why? Mystery Dungeon understandable because uh, the extremely real DS had some. I'm not sure if it's memory problems or just like loading issues, I think. It always had consistent loading issues with Mystery Dungeon. I don't know what Bug Tables' problem is. Maybe it's just Steam. This is fine. This is running great. By the way, since this is running so great, I think I'm gonna make a recording only video to put on my uh, YouTube 
think it's gonna be bobs and highlights. Maybe I'll just rename it to. Oh no, maybe Twitch. I don't know. YouTube Twitch moments, whatever. But I'm thinking of making a uh, YouTube-only video, just exploring my um, town in uh, New Horizons. I feel like my town is nice. I just need to find a good time to do it. I mean, I could time scum that all I want, honestly. What? It's not like I'm worried about villager moving out. Oh, the first 40 minutes were absolute torture. This. Oh, this is fine. I so just had to either get lucky or just um, get back in the swing of things in Mario Kart, which I, I guess really need to do. I remember this place from 3 2. 3? Mario Kart 7 was a really good Mario Kart. A lot of things on 3. Three should not be forgotten. Reeds was amazing. I love that system. They should remake a bunch of 3DS games to the Switch somehow. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Probably easy enough. Just the bottom screen becomes yet another. Ugh. Yet another uh, menu. My question is, why did they fail with the Wii U so bad? Not just on naming, not just on naming, but like in pure conception of the gamepad. Why did they fail with the gamepad so bad, but with the DS and 3DS, they perfected the bottom screen already? So why was the gamepad any different? Why is the gamepad any different? Who's in front? Luigi! Oh, I'm gonna fail. Alright. Time to do that again. Everything was going so smoothly until Rock Garden happened. Rock. whatever. No, back to London. All the way back to London loop. Just because of Crack Crack Mountain! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? No, no, I'm still going. No. Too early to quit. No, some my eyeball. It's really bothering me. Did I not know? No, that's just your exhaust. Give me a sec. Ah, my eyeball. I think it was like some kind of sleepy. Okay. Whatever it was, I did not like it. Dust or sleepy or something my eyelashes just didn't get. <laughs> Watch helplessly as my shell just goes off the map. These lumpy trees. Alright. When's the new track? Weren't we supposed to be getting new tracks? I'm pretty sure in London and Mary Mountain no, and the Reeds Rainbow Road were already in Oh yeah, when's Birdo? I think that's in April. Goodbye, Isabel. You is a loser. Ho ho, hee hee. Oh god. Okay. Let's go, please. 
Isabel, please. Okay. Wait, what happened there? Where was I supposed to exit out of? I missed my turn. I missed my turn on the I-95. Absolutely no way. I refuse to believe that race is salvageable. Wait, you see that? Why does it say that? Because I have silver? I don't care. I already have gold. I thought gold was a new one. I thought gold was the proof that you won. Why does it look like it needs a Genshin consolation? No, I'm not C6 in Gold Mario. No, thank you. What is the character selection going to look like when Birdo is added? I fear for that day. How long am I gonna be stuck on these two first time? In a reverse. That was a nice boost. I like that. That was a good one. Thank you, Jim Chomp. Say thank you to every single item that helped you along the way. Thank you, Mushroom. Thank you, Coin. Isabel, why did you do your horn? That was some wacky horn boots. I gotta get more involved in, in uh, places that might boost. You know, boost me. If anybody out there wants to raid me right now, <laughs> boom! Get out of here, Izzy. Izzy, 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 Bell. Who needs you anyway? Oh, smooth sailing. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's new sailing. Got a horn. Everything's fine. Nope. Bad weather. Really unstable weather conditions. This place needs more signs. That place needs more signs. Never mind. Every everything's everything's going wrong. This place has too many signs. I'm not gonna do with a horn in third. We're like, all the way up there. Okay. Larry is an issue. Yeah. That was reassurance I probably didn't need. <laughs> That's alright. Everything's okay. The end is just before us. We can make it. We will make it. We made it. Xeno116, hello! Thank you for coming! We are playing Mario Kart, uh, Date, Deluxe, and getting triple stars on a bunch of races I've yet to do. Right now we're doing 150cc mirrored. And we are losing our minds. Thank you. Uh, it's so good to hear. Because I, I stream very consistently on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's not the best time, but it is for me. I understand that. Today was nice because I, um, 
On weekends, I tend to go out a lot, but um, it's too cold and I have to take care of someone. So, here I am. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But I thought 7.30 would, like, be enough for most people to, like, come home from 9 to 5 to relax before the next day of work. And speaking of work, I do have to I do some work when I'm done with this. Maybe I'll go for the full two hours or whatever. I don't know. Link! Link, please, I can't see! I'd like to relax. I would really like to relax if everyone wasn't, like, Mario Karting me to oblivion. Now that would be great. Maybe I have to talk about Dodo's again. The Dodo bird was an extraordinary animal. Yes, I have to think about Dodo's and I'll win. What would Dodo's do? They want to care. All they want to do is eat and live and be a very peaceful animal. If we didn't kill off the Dodo's as a human, if we didn't kill off the Dodo's and just understood what they're all about, which was peace and love, then maybe, just maybe, the world would have been a better place. But sadly, the world was too cruel for the Dodo bird to live. If you're all confused, I'm referring to a video that I saw on YouTube that explained why the Dodos went extinct. And I gotta restart. I didn't realize I was on my third level. <laughs> I wanna go back. Oh, it's pain. It's pain. My heart breaks. Uh, it's so bad. <laughs> you die of broken heart syndrome right here. Here I go. It's me. It's my dead corpse hitting the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Rip dodos. Dodos were a fantastic animal. They were just chilling on an island with no predators, right? There's absolutely no tyros. Thank you for following Zeno Hunter 516, calling you by your first and last name, including numbers. <laughs> for those people with uh, numbers in the name, I think numbers and username really show people's ages. I mean that in a sense of like, at only at one point we actually required numbers and usernames, and now we don't so much anymore. So usernames can just be names, you know? Because when I made my username, I thought numbers were required. And I was a baby. I was like eight years old when I made my username. My first use thing I made my username for was Needle Pets. What'd you first use your username for? Ah! Uh, had been some kind of kids thing like Roblox or something. I never played Roblox. I'm kind of glad I missed that train, honestly. Roblox looks so cheap to me, even now. Minecraft is a style. Roblox just. I don't know. I like Minecraft. Until the hunger part they got it. And then the hunger bar just stressed me out. So then. Username was Goldminer516 for Club Penguin. Hey, I love Club Penguin. Club Penguin was a good game too. Before Disney bought them out. And then Disney killed them. And made a horrible, pay like, pay to play service. Awful. How am I supposed to see nanners on the ground when I'm splooged? <laughs> what color of penguin? This is a place with no signs. I really wish I had more signs. I always get turned around that area. No. At least I'm learning. That place had too many signs. <laughs> Boogie, please! 
Let me win. I just want to get my triple stars. It'll be great. It'll be a great time for all of us if I got triple stars. Good. Mountain in front. Can we catch up? Kind of. No! Don't do that to me! I refuse! And this is the third lap. We still have some of the track uh, left. Can you hit Lugi instead? Thank you. Ludwig, Ludwig, let me win! Oh, that was clutch! I love that. I love everything about that. Well, let's continue seeing that. I would like to continue seeing this, please. That would be my most favorite thing in the world. I hope everyone likes my god awful driving. I saw inherently the funniest thing. I think her name was like Silver Sky or Silver Hero. She's some VTuber. But she was crying and she was complaining and crying that uh, she wanted to play Funny Wizard Game. And uh, people were like bullying her about Funny Wizard Game. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't really be talking about Funny Wizard Game. But since she was a VTuber, and I was I was thinking like, um, yeah, maybe VTubers don't have as much like emotional range, especially as cheap as mine. I mean, it's effective, it's cute, and I could interchange the emotions with the press of a button. But right now, I have my uh, hands filled with the component. And if I get like a face tracking, maybe that would help, but my setup's not really that great for face tracking because I'm kind of, I kind of record and play in a corner. My computer's in a corner and there's shadows everywhere and I, and I wear glasses and glasses is not really fun for face tracking. But anyway, uh, this VTuber was crying and be like, everyone is so mad at me. And then, like her, <laughs> but her uh, bobas with her bobas were big and bouncy, and her VTuber cannot express anything other than happy. So it's just like it, I, I don't know. It felt I can't say not genuine, but kind of like it. Honestly, in context. Oh, nice. Well, another clutch first. Well, I'm complaining about VTubers playing funny wizard game. Even though funny, like, I know, um, you know, the whole complaint of funny wizard game be being made by um, evil woman. And yes, woman is evil. I agree that woman is evil. But if only by an IP standard, only from an IP kind of thing. I think Funny Wizard Game could have done so much more, at least in the beginning. I didn't really see a lot of gameplay, but I I was I wanted to hear like the people that did play it their takes on their on the first portion of the game. And it just kind of sounds like wasted opportunity. Especially with house picking. The house picking Okay, here's another complaint I have. It's like BuzzFeed, like like BuzzFeed quizzes, and you and you are genuinely like, oh, what Harry Potter house am I get, am I gonna be? And then it gives off extremely specific, like extremely obvious answers. Magic system is so compared, uh, so bad when compared to the Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, that it's like very simplified, but. The, but you have to remember, Harry Potter is probably like going to be like Dragon Dogma or um, Dark Souls for Babies. Which I'm not entirely opposed to Dark Souls for Babies, like as an idea. But I'm just saying, in the IP itself, 
I'm just saying in the IP itself, what, like whenever I asked of people that willingly play, I'm not going to willingly play um, um, Funny Wizard Game because I think it's just a waste of money on my part. But when I hear people play it, my first question is like, oh, what house did you pick? Because I like games that have different, um, like, different things for different players because it's, it could be so expansive or you, um, like, everybody picks a different house or whatever and maybe has different teachers or whatever. So I'm like, oh, what house did you pick? Because that's the most, um, like, cool question for me. But the, but the thing with picking houses is that there's no option to leave it to fate. And I think leaving it, leaving things to fate is a cool thing for to do in any playthrough of any game. But the question is like one question, really obvious, and it's basically just asking you which house you want to be in. Yes, yes, in, in Lord, in canon, you can do that. It's been, like, it's known since book one that the showing hat would take your, like, your um, concerns into account. But at the same time, it would have been cooler for people who didn't experience Harry Potter, not even knowing of the houses, to have their own adventure. And it just kind of takes away from that. And it's like that little thing that I have, and it's like, why couldn't they just at least copy and paste the, at least the Pottermore questions? I don't think anybody would look at Pottermore ever again. That would have been, like, that would have been cool, and that's just another wasted opportunity. And I'm sure that game is filled with wasted opportunities. I mean, the game is filled with really bad things as well, and that's, like, that's why a lot of people aren't playing with it, playing it. But it's like, even for the most innocent things, it could have been better. It could have been not lazy. Already has so many things riding against it. Maybe the devs just didn't care. <laughs> I don't blame him for not care caring. What's it going and I like working for an IP like Harry Potter in this day and age? Well. <laughs> It's basically just a free paycheck. I'm sorry for speaking negatively about funny wizard game, but that's just like I guess that's just topical at that point. And those that feel are like genuine concerns for me, even if I enjoyed it. Even if I enjoyed it, even if it weren't problematic, I still think that's just a like that simple thing of just not having a choice, screw you boo, of just not having a choice to pick your, you know, just leaving up the fate is so bland and just kind of goes against some, like something I found special in the, in the canon, you know, before all the horrible things happened. <laughs> That's fair to say, right? I always say this to anybody who never got into Harry Potter. Thank God you did not get into Harry Potter. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened like during the past. I, I don't know how many years since um, the Deathly Hollows movie ended, but it's after that point. And they all just have gone down, down. Like Maple Treeway. <laughs> no, never mind. Maple Tree Way is a fantastic track. I say it as I slam into a banana. Funny, whenever I start talking about the game, the game screws me over! <laughs> do we need an L Do we need a Dark Souls for babies? Maybe. We need a Nintendo. We need a Nintendo game to make Dark Souls for babies. Speaking of Dark Souls for Babies, there's like, I've been, um, maybe after I'm done with these really big, um, RPGs, I swear, after Bug Fables and Mystery Dungeon are done, I am only doing one RPG and one, like, and one, like, big game. Maybe I'll make Sundays into a third day, I don't know. Can I get number one? Can I get first? Wait! 
Are you kidding me? At the very last second, too, I have to redo this whole track? Do you see that? That was wonderful. That was so good. F. Thanks. Thanks! Who is that, Morton? Morton can go. Fall into a lava pit. Just like Super Mario World, baby. Two stars, baby. Let's not go. Let's not go. Let's not go there. Hey, I have a question. <laughs> oh no. Salmon. Good luck in Salmon Run. I hope you get a splasher. <laughs> I hope you're doing good in Salmon Run. Kill those Salmons. That's another topical thing to talk about. That's not just funny wizard game. What have I experienced? Lately, I've been just... Ca I've been catching myself falling asleep to uh, screams I usually like. Maybe because it's too warm and toasty and snuggly <laughs> in my bed. I got a cinema roll plush, and it's so snuggly. The cinema roll build a bear plush, and I got it soft, and it was the best thing I ever did. Cause you, cause I also got the uh, build a bear Teddy Ursa, cause I'm sure that Teddy Ursa would never get me soft. I was sad that they never restocked Meow. I really wanted the Meow thing, Teddy, and I saw Teddy Ursa, and I'm like, no, I'm not letting this happen ever again. I got the petty earth and get smacked. God, do you keep items after you get smacked with a blue shell? I know you keep I you don't keep items after um No, you do keep items after a blue shell. What am I saying? You don't keep items after a zip zap. After a light. Oh, you know what gets on my nerves? Whenever you like browsing around YouTube Shorts, just to uh, smush your brain after a long day, and you're watching YouTube Shorts, and somebody, some Nintendo channel, just misnames something, and it pisses you off to no end. Like there was a Mario Kart, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like people milking the hell out of this game because you know new tracks and all. It's like, oh, opportunity for this game to get milked. Am I doing it? Probably. TikTok. Same, like, same deal. Like, a lot of things on TikTok just get smashed on the YouTube shorts as well. I just like YouTube shorts because it's just not as loud as TikTok, if that makes any sense. TikTok, in name, I find it to be pretty perfect, honestly. YouTube shorts is just YouTube at shorts. But I was watching, like, some YouTube shorts... Uh, the other day and I saw a Mario Kart one and it's like this and it's like showing lightning and it's always been called lightning or at least I've called it lightning and it's like this is called the shocker and it's like who called it that? Certainly not me. Certainly like not 10 other people that have used the item that I've heard. <laughs> There's one guy that was doing Pokemon like po quick Pokemon BGC analysis and I know I know Pokemon names. Like, there was no real official pronunciations of Pokemon names, but whenever they get to, like, something like Arcanine, they said, oh, um, Arcane, like, they called Arcanine something stupid, like, Arsenine. And it's like, where, 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 where in that name do you see that? <laughs> one, yeah, the one guy. The one dude. But it's just so annoying when people, like, when you watch a video of your favorite thing and then people just butcher the names of your favorite things. <laughs> like, ima like, imagine if you go on a, like, Genshin Impact is another one of my favorite things. Imagine if you go on Genshin Impact and so many names Oh, uh, what, like, what's a character? The like Kaching, whose name is it? Pronunciation of, like, Kaching, I would understand because not everybody's native Chinese or whatever. 
but they would call Kiching or like Kikwing, you know, Kikwin, Kikwin, <laughs> like Sequin. And Chi Chi, whose name is spelled like Q I Q I, is like, oh, it's Kiki. The thing, the, the thing is that's Chinese names, and I know Chinese names don't really go into English too often. I respectfully call, um, I, I respectively call, like, Waterboy Sing Chu with Sing. That's kind of just a, chi like, common Chinese thing that just does not occur in English. Like, as I, like, um, oh yeah, like, the, the X makes a Sin sound. Kikui, Kikui, Kui Kui. <laughs> and people say, oh, Zhang Li. But it's Xiong Li. It's just how. It just doesn't translate into English all that well, and I failed, and I gotta redo everything and ever, ever again. And it's great! I'm having a fun time! <laughs> it's already 9.06, and theoretically, I need to stop at 9.30, but I'd like to do this on Sundays. I think I can make this into a Sunday thing. Just all the th Sundays are all the things I just need to get cleared. <laughs> Maybe next Sunday I can build some Pokemon. I mean, I, I, I gotta make adjustments to my TPL team. My Twitch Pokemon League team, that's TPL. And I think um, there's gonna be a lot of matches being... Re being sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of TPL matches being made this week. Oh, using it or against it? I guess using it because um, you're doing uh, sa salmon. Running with salmons. I can't. I can't get claimed for that. That was a. That was my original song. Me. I made that. It's not based on anything except everything that I made. I made the bars, I made the music, I made the guitars, that was all me. Running with the salmons. No prior band. I'm not even gonna ask who made that who made that song originally. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Bamboo Charger is. Didn't people call that the tap tap? Where you tap and win? Do you like using any charger? Does anybody like using any charger? Why time on Sundays? I wonder if you would be interested in watching. If people would be interested in watching me level shit in Final Fantasy XIV. Those are the bad. We should shame people who use them. Yup. Should we shame Nintendo for making them? Should we shame the one guy for making chargers? Okay, now I understand how this turn works. Yeah, I like- oh, I love that. I love- Charging in the front lines is my favorite thing. What was it? Oh, yeah, I was getting super into cup, um, Undercover Umbrella. That I really liked. I was using Undercover Umbrella in, in, um, Spl in uh, Splatfest. And that was really fun. I got some really fun kills during that. I'm only in London. Oh, it's getting forever. I can't see. <laughs> Legitimately. Okay. Good. Good finish. My hand hurts so much. 
uh, do your hand stretches, do your hand stretches, don't forget to do them. Hope you know how to do hand stretches. I don't know how, how to explain what I'm doing with my right hand. It's just opening and closing my palm. But don't forget to do your hand stretches after gaming, after typing, after drawing, or doing any kind of work. Oh yeah, I gotta do work. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have to do, uh, I have to do some work after this. Yeah. So, um, Pokemon Day is coming up, and I'm thinking, hopefully, if I'm able to get this, like get my catch the stream, I hope I'm able to catch the stream if I'm not like working at that point. But um, if I'm able to catch a Pokemon stream, I'm, I want to work on a uh, bingo card. And I really speculate that there's going to be an ex uh, Explorers of Sky or... It's gonna be- I know what it's gonna be called. It's gonna be called, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers DX. Where it's just a Switch version of the Explorers here, which probably like with a lot of time things. Not time things, Sky things, I hope. Maybe not, because of how they treated, um, Diamond Pearl, Oros, like everything that didn't have the special things. Anyway, but if that were to happen, and I end my ex like my explorers thing finishes and the next explorer things begin, I wouldn't be surprised if I got into that. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if I try to stream like off times just to play it. I would love to stream that. I love to stream like things I enjoy. Hell, I'm doing this because I enjoy it, and I have like I have extra time today. I thought, why not? Why the hell not? That was really, really close. That was really, really aggressive. Thank you. <laughs> Are you able to win? No, I'm not. Of course I'm not. Why wouldn't I? Why would I? I just want to get a 150! I'm still in 150 mirrored! This is so bad! Okay, where am I? All I did was clear 150, and now I'm in mirror, and I have to go back to two and I have to go back to 200 CC. I want to do 200 CC so bad. It's like I have to earn it. I have to earn it. I hate this. I probably hated it when I did it for the base game too. I go in for a driver's permit, I go up to the DMV, and I say, I think I'm ready for a license without doing your crappy written test. And they say, oh yeah? Prove it. And then I walk up, and I show them my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe um, save file, filled with triple stars for every available cup. You think they'll give it to me? And so I can't believe, so I can't believe white chocolate one. It looked like poop, and that's why they won. It was the only one that looked like diarrhea, and that's why white chocolate became, got so popular. Read the facts. <laughs> white chocolate had the funniest ink color. <laughs> I am not at all surprised White Chocolate won. Wasn't that like purple versus... Like, Dark Chocolate was purple, White Chocolate was brown, and... Uh, what was Milk Chocolate? White? Was Milk Chocolate even white? I didn't participate in that slap fest. Maybe, I think maybe I was either busy or just tired. White is white. White, like, what? that was white ink. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a good contender. Oh wait, white chocolate one. I was thinking milk chocolate. I thought milk chocolate one. Milk chocolate was the one that looked like straight up poop, right? 
Well, then you know why White Traveler won. I'm not even gonna say why, but you know why it, why it won. Based on the logic I gave you. What won during uh, Ketchup versus Mayo, which was a really disgusting combination of things? <laughs> We only, we only have two new windows here. <laughs> Stop! Oh, Inkling Boy! Inkling Boy! Luigi just ran me over! Without a care in the world! He's like, oh, I'm Luigi! And then he just broke every single bone in my body. Thanks, Luigi. And he goes, hey, I'm Charlie Day! He exclaimed he was Charlie Day and then he killed me. There! That was only London. I am in hell. I am leg in legitimate hell. <laughs> this is what hell looks like for me. I just want to be the Mario Kart queen. That was my Mario Kart. -ing. all week and I don't know what happened but something I think something clicked into his brain and all of a sudden he's like time to be a sweet boy and he was just sweet the entire time like he was sweet for a couple days just consistently after being just a nuisance like for the majority of his tiny little life maybe he's maturing my cat Jojo fights my other cat, Cosmo. A lot, and he never lets up on Cosmo. Until recently, Cosmo is being a little bit more assertive. Maybe it's because I'm teaching Jojo that hissing means stop, and he just doesn't understand that. I started hissing. Yeah, I hiss like a cat. I go, and I started hissing at Jojo. And then I think now because of that, he finally understands that I'm really crappy at Mario Kart and I should never be around a controller ever again. Anyway, <laughs> I think JoJo is starting to understand that hissing means stop. I'm trying to condition him to do so. So when he goes around with Cosmo and he hisses at him, he knows finally to back off a bit. I'm so proud of him for realizing that. And he was just being a good boy. He was brushing up against me going... He was purring, and he slept with me, and he was being an angel, and he was just such a good little boy. I love my little Jojo, he's so cute. He looks so floppy. Although I don't have it in here because he might get a little feisty. He's been trying to, he hasn't jumped on my computer um, recently except <laughs> he hasn't been jumping on my computer recently until like the other day when I was doing the Genshin Daily. He's just like, oh, what's that? He jumped on my computer and I watched helplessly as my Weebit just runs face first in danger <laughs> during spiral deaths. And I'm like, Jojo, please! And he's just like, Trrr! and he just sits right on the keyboard. Jojo, please! He wanted attention, so he gave me Anybody who asks, maybe I was partially inspired by JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but even if JoJo's Bizarre Adventure weren't a thing, I'd still like the name. Don't get confused. The Joe jokes are funny in doses. 
but at the, at some point I'm just like just just appreciate the cat for being a cat. Like JoJo is his name. Yeah, I gave him a name, but JoJo is his name. Please um, respect the fact that he's JoJo the cat, and not uh, a JoJo. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say it. You, I'm not gonna call your Chihuahua JoJo every moment of his life. Also, hi Iggy. There. Hello, Iggy. I hope you're being a good pup. I like the name Jojo because it sounds like a clown name. <laughs> but did you name it your dog Iggy because you were mainly inspired by Jojo or did you just like the name Iggy? It has to be a bit of both. You wouldn't like the you wouldn't name your dog Iggy if you didn't like the name. <laughs> yes! I successfully outsped a blue shell! All you need is a mushroom and a little bit of heart. <laughs> Any other funny names you heard of uh, animals? Funny inspired names. My other cat's name is Cosmos because we just like the name. Oh, is he the same breed? Is he a Boston Terrier? Boston Terriers are so cute! Did you know that the director of Lilo and Stitch, I believe his name is Chris Sanders, did you know that Chris Sanders' favorite um, breed of dog is a Boston Terrier, and that's kind of what Stitch is loosely modeled off of. It's so cute! <laughs> I love their bug eyes. I have a dog- I have a dog breed hot take. Do you want to hear it? I- I don't- like, I don't blame people for rescuing dogs. To rescue uh, this breed of dog is- you know, fine. I'm not a fan of the breed because of their outrageous health problems. Chihuahua poodle and Oh, I, lo I love that. Like, I'm not a huge fan of like inbreeding for dog breeds. You know, some dog breeds can be cute, like uh, poodles and whatnot. I think that they should be mixed for like for their own good, for their own health. Dogs were never supposed to look like pugs. The dog I met, I was talking about, is a uh, English Bulldogs. I, mm, I mean, I'm not a dog person, with, but I can, I can appreciate some good puppies. I don't say I hate dogs. I just can't understand them as much as cats do. Like I've always had cats in my life. Have like taking care of a dog is just um, honestly more work for me. I, I don't hate dogs, I just can't understand them as much as I do cats. I don't came from Luna, his mom who got one of them. Pretty big for a chihuahua. Maybe it's another mix of chihuahua. My grandma had a dog. Oh my god, that was delayed. Anyway, not a delay on my part, but just like when I did that. Anyway. Um, my grandma had a dog who was a Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkies are supposed to be really small, but I think he has some kind of giganticism. His name was BJ, don't laugh, it, meant, it means Blackjack. I, I was innocently calling him BJ without the knowledge of any, um, you know, any innuendo. That was teeny tiny baby. But he was a big for Yorkie, and when I see actual Yorkies, I'm just like, that doesn't look like DJ. A DJ is around waist high as hip. Who's DJ? Another dog? Oh, oh, that's a mom. Around waist height. That's pretty huge. That's like medium. Oh, on her hind legs. I had a hard time visualizing that for a second. But yeah, that's pretty big for a chihuahua. Chihuahuas are like... Sorry, aren't chihuahuas normally like the size of a foot? 
Anyway, my grandma had like a big um, Yorkshire uh, Yorkshire Terrier, Yorkie. And I think he might have been around as big as what you're describing. Your uh, dog's mom. <laughs> Your dog's mom. <laughs> Does that does that collection of words make me laugh? Dog. Anyway. <laughs> what a pup. All I can say is what a pup. I saw I saw a dog um yesterday. I was working. And somebody came in with a uh, service animal. If he's normal size. Except Max. Are you breeding dogs? <laughs> That's a pretty big dog fat. Like, yeah, most dog families are relatively uh, big, but how are you connected with this uh, dog family? It's a lot of dogs. Anyway, I saw a dog uh, the other day, and it was a service dog, so I didn't feel like I was really allowed to interact with it. Because, you know, the dog's doing its job. Man. That was, it was like, a, it seemed like a portal mix. It was just so pretty. Brown fur with a white, like, white patch on the face. Beautiful pup. I almost got a poodle once. My, but, I think at that time my brother was like, no, I want a stinking poodle. Poodles are so smart and fluffy and they make really good service dogs and really good therapy dogs. I deserve that poodle. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I got cats. I love my kitties. Oh yeah, the, I was trying to say before, I don't... I don't blame anybody of rescuing dogs. This is not directed at people who rescue English Bulldogs. But I honestly think that people who breed English Bulldogs, I think that should be borderline animal abuse. Because English Bulldogs just can't live properly. They were never meant to live. I hate this whole, like, this whole thing that we have in our society that dogs should be, like, viewed as some kind of accessory or like viewed as some kind of like i don't know like the breeding dog breeding olympics going on and dog shows that you got it's just it's weird it's weird what we did with dogs yeah dogs being bred okay i don't mind dogs being bred to be human or dogs being bred for like hunting. Just as long as it, they're bred to be healthy with the big old snouts and all, that's fine. Like that, I think in dog nature they want to be our companions. There's a, like there's a need for their for the domesticated species to be with humans. And that's kind of um, part of like the symbiotic evolution that they rely on. But it's not proper evolution when we as humans just forcibly mix them with other dogs to end up looking like English, like English, um, what was it? English uh, Bulldogs. Because they have breathing problems, they have back problems, they have a whole myriad of health problems. They, like, they don't... They, they could barely live without suffering. We should breed dogs to be companions and to be healthy, not ended up looking like that just because of some societal need for dogs looking like accessories. Chihuahuas maybe, but I, I don't know what caused the chihuahua to be looking so tiny. But like when we get Pomeranians and we shove them in the bags. Like what like why are dogs seen as accessories? There's something in the news I saw that a accessory dog was it was just kind of forgotten in an elevator and just hung up on some kind of rack. Like who does that?
I don't, but I don't blame this onto every single dog dog that's been sadly inbred into looking like whatever they look like. That being any show dog breed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, you like you say that, but um, I don't. I don't put my cat in a bag because of the accessory. I put my cat in a bag because it's like it's a little game that I play with my cat. But like, put, like I'm saying, like putting your um, animal in a bag as an accessory and counting them around. Or sometimes I like that, but like putting him in a bag as an accessory, not putting him in a bag because they like it. Because I'm sure some dogs actually like doing that. I won't blame that dog. You know what I mean. Somebody didn't experiment, I remember. It wasn't in dogs, but in foxes, but it applies to dogs. That the perfect dog to be bred to be extremely compatible with humans. Where um, it wasn't pulling, they didn't pull this, they just kind of picked the dog that would uh, to breed next. They get a litter of dogs. They get a litter of like dogs or foxes. It was like an Amer. I think it was like American um, es Eskimo dog. And it, they picked out a litter of these dogs or foxes. I think it was either Eskimo dogs or Arctic foxes. They picked out a litter and found out the ones that didn't bite immediately and um, let um, bred that. And got another litter, found the dog, like found the one that didn't bite, and bred that. And after like ten generations of uh, like careful breeding and evolution, like it's kind of evolution, kind of like spontaneous evolution. Can I get first? No. Oh, wait, that was me. Anyway, uh, the, the dog or a fox that came out was floppy-eared. Big, like, big nose, floppy body, happy face, big eyes. And that's just kind of what a, a domestic fox or a domestic dog ends up looking like. Out of just picking a behavior of not biting alone. I think that's amazing. It's what dogs evolved with to appeal to humans that you know, help them live. I'm not sure if that's, hum like, not humanity's fault in a bad sense. I just think that's, like, that just happened. That was human- that's humanity at its best. I hope anything I'm making sense. I hope I can actually win. I until mean, so it's 9.30. I've been streaming for two hours. Do I continue? Or should I take a break until next Sunday? When's Mario- when's the Mario Kart thing? Because I basically did all the uh... I actually finally caught up with this track. Technically. Technically. I'm still trapped in 150 Mirror. I might run till 10. I want to get through this. I'm not doing much else. I make this my longest stream. <laughs> Basic Sunday stream. I'll do one more attempt. But after that, I think I'm just gonna... I don't know. Die. <laughs> I'm gonna die for, for a day. I'm gonna die for a couple days. Guys, you've got some bad, or maybe do um, Final Fantasy days I still need to do. I'm still in front of my warrior. You know, I do not like tanking. Nobody likes tanking. Maybe doing that alliance right again. I don't know. I really suck at video games. Also with dogs, I love it how with dog breeds 
you get really specific dog breeds, and then when you're mesquitating the staff, you're just like, oh, what breed of cat is that? Orange! <laughs> what breed of cat do you got? Uh, white. <laughs> Red shell. Link down that red shell reminds me of the end of the Whoa, rat be upon you. Whoa, red shell be upon you. I already made a line of manners. There's no way you're getting me a boat red shells. This is AS. This whole thing is ass. Wow, what happened? Okay, this is definitely my last turn. There's... Ugh, that sucks. I'm getting a bit goofy. Knowing that I've been at this for two hours! I don't get a free. Within this next next attempt, I think I'm just gonna call it a night. If I get a radar, I'm not gonna No! Ugh, I'm running off steam. Now it looks like. It looks like we beat London for the 57th time! What is the one track that keeps um, choking me up on this one? I think it's the rock one. The rock, the rock track keeps choking me up. And that one, that one time a maple tree away. Hmm, it's just not, not a pleasant time. Maybe you can be at this by the, like at tomorrow as well because I really. I don't have anything else going on in my life. Why not? I took up streaming because I have nothing in my life. <laughs> so, why not? It's a miserable, miserable existence. But what is existence without a bit of suffering? Oh yeah, I got work. That's right. Why do I keep forgetting? I need to do something. Like, straight after this. Roslyn? Who ate my red shell? I think Roslyn ate my red shell for his manners. That was, that was silly. That was just fucking cars. I bumped into Roslyn. Well, she had one nanner up from a triple nanner. And I, like, bumped into her when I threw a green shell. Oh boy, is that blue shell on the horizon? Yeah, wait. And I get zapped. One Don't forget about misplacing with the red shell, that's great too. Why was it so much easier to do that? Like, to look in your rear view on the the Wii, in the Wii I would do my rear view all the time, but I barely do it on the Switch. Maybe it's just a game controller. It's easier with rear view camera than the controller. The X button is like, you need to keep the A button held down, but the X button is not. Oh boy. That's it. So I think that's it for me. What I do? I got one triple star on Moon Cup and then just never again. This entire process that I have Grand Prix that you see here and here, 
must have taken ages for me because I am really struggling on 150. And look at two, like I did this on 200. I really wanted to go to 200 tonight, but I just couldn't. I might be cracking at this again uh, tomorrow, Monday, if, I, if I'm like able to. If I'm not doing anything else, obviously. But it's uh, it's good. It's a good um. Progress wasn't good at all. Cause I only got one triple star. This is agonizing. I only have three viewers. That's not the greatest for a raid, honestly. And I don't even know who to raid. Actually, you're new. Uh, let me see if CJ is still streaming. So, anyway, if I'm gonna f try to raid, cause there's, I don't know how to raid properly. That would be it on the YouTube. YouTube is cut here. Thank you for watching YouTube. And thank you for watching this entire stream. And now, I'll cut that. Go to Blank Bug. Oh, and then you don't hear the funny music. Whatever. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. I want to see if I could um get this on CJ's stream. I don't know how to read. If he's even streaming, if not, then... Is CJ doing sports? Is CJ and Rose doing sports? No, they're not even live, so screw that. Every time I want to raid, it just never happens. <laughs> Why is Grisco trending? Grisco is trending on Twitter. <laughs> oh, because it's all Grisco weapons? Is that what's going on? That's good. Good job, Grisco. Anyway, you have fun with that. Hi, Chilling Ghoul, welcome! I was just ending because I uh, did my two hours and uh, Mirror Cup is a pain. Oh, rip. So, I'm probably gonna end it here. I did my two hours. Everything hurts. You know what? I'm not doing anything else. Want me to go for one more hour? <laughs> I could. Wanna know all the progress I've done? 150, then 150 mirror. I only got one triple star during this entire session. Roll the dice for me. Do you think I should go for one more hour? I literally have nothing else to do. It just, actually I do have work to do, but that can be whenever. Absolutely. One more, okay. You want me to do this? Fine. 150 mirror on where am i stuck on i'm stuck on rock cop otherwise known as crack cop i've been doing this i've been going back to london over and over and over again my hand hurts i have to wrap up orders still if i don't succeed this i'm like so close to just calling it a day doing it tomorrow and then Chilling Gold comes in and is like, hey, I'm always late. And I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this again. Maybe I needed a breather. I don't know. It was a fake out. It was a fake out all along. My left thumb... My left thumb hurts. Because it has scratches on it. Actually, it's healing. It was much worse two days ago. But of course, it's my left thumb, the one I have to use to uh, drift. I gotta show someone my my Mario Kart skills. That's okay. I want to do something other than completing one triple star. And that took forever. That was excruciating. You saw my, like, you saw my triple stars, right? You understand why I need to do this. <laughs> I'm not overexerting myself because I have nothing else to really do in my life. Except do Mario Kart. And Bug Fables and Mystery Dungeon, of course. What? 
I only like doing one. Um, I can only really do one game at a time. Okay, after this, have this. After this, I'll get out, wrap up my orders. Um, do you have me on Twitter? Or Discord even? Because I can message you on Discord and see if you want to do any uh, Rise stuff. Because I haven't played Rise in a hot minute. And all this is honestly partially because I, I, I do need to clear this. I've been needing to clear this for them sometimes. Oh yeah, you are. So, um, message me on dip, Dipcord when you want to do that because I might uh, go wrap up some uh, orders for my job and my work. Playing Rise right now? Oh, Chilling Rules, uh, Xeno Hunters. Also, message me on Dipcord. Do, Xeno, are you from uh, Twitter? I think you are. We can do some uh, Rise stuff before it gets way too late. Because, um, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow might be a little better because we'd be, like, all freshen up and I don't need to, like, leave to, like, immediately after a one. Yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna do this attempt. Whether win or lose, I'm gonna, like, end it for the night. Either way. Like, I need to, like, run out and do a couple orders. If you're available either a little, little later tonight or tomorrow, we can all do buys. I think that would be good. My question is for you, Shin and Ghoul and Zeno. Do you use cats or dogs? Because at this point, in such late game in Rise, I just think dogs are kind of useless. What do you think? Yeah, understandable. I don't even have heal cats because every, nearly everyone I play with, or like even randos or anything, they always have heal cats, so I go attack cat. Because I'm already getting heals from your heal cat. True. But like in, like if you're just doing like big, big monsters or using a heal, like, are you using cats or doggos? Because cats are just smart, smart and doggos. Yeah. I'm not even complaining. I'm not even, like, saying your weapon. Your weapon is good just as long as they're not Lancer Gun Lance. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm evil, evil bug, evil bug. Base. Thank you. Thank you. You understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question for Zeno and Jilingo. If, you're, if we're really gonna do Meowsihani together, are you okay with going on Discord, Mike? Or are you gonna remain uh, chat? That's on you. I'm just wondering how uh, comfortable you would be. I'm, I'm okay either way. Wow, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Incredibly. Actually, you know, like, understandable. That's why I had to add to lock to my door. Is this true? Am I really going on the move on a rock mountain? Oh boy! I'm finally progressing! That'd be so good! The progress. The progress I've I've been doing for the past two hours has been abysmal. You have no idea. <laughs> anyway. If you're curious about my um, Monster Hunter rank, I don't know what high rank I'm at, but I'm pretty alright. I've been just... I, I don't... No, if you can help me, I don't really know how um, anomaly quests are supposed to work, but they because they just feel a bit too not just grind heavy, just a bit too like sangely. Uh, rise on switch, yes. Yeah, Zeno, you get on rise on switch because that's what I have it on. Nice. 
Okay, so we're pretty much on the same page as anomalies. If we're doing rise, I guess we'd be doing anomalies or whatever the hell you guys want to hunt. Because with anomalies, anomalies made me, like, take me out of the game because it felt so samey. I'm not a huge fan of the anomalies. I'd rather just be hunting elder dragons. And even then, I'm just kind of disappointed the elder, elder dragons they have this time. Because it's just... Um, boss rocks. Powerful boss rocks. Even stronger boss rocks. Like, what, what is the point? They are, but what else are we gonna do so late in game? Like, I enjoy my mixed armor set now. I don't have any need for an additional armor set. I have no real goals in Rise, in Rise except maybe help others. I only run- I only run, um, Switch X. I'd like to get a bow set, but why would I- but at the same time, I really like running Switch X. I'm happy doing Switch X. I'm happy doing the same things over and over in one weapon. But I don't know how to progress because the only way to progress is through Anomaly Quests. And it never feels like I progress in Anomaly Quests. I'm sorry if I'm just complaining about Rise at this point. But that's how we feel about Rise. I'm like super late game. I can tell you where I'm, where I'm at when I come back on Rise. Yeah. There's something going on in the game market that doesn't have that magical feeling like since I felt like a 3DS. And I don't know what that is. Wow, good stuff. That's great. Is it, like, the fact that I'm technically playing a new thing on an eight-year-old game? Done. Completely done. At least Xenoblade 3 about- I assume Xenoblade 3 is a- is a big game. Guys, um, there's gonna be time in between. I'm gonna give it about, like, 20-30 minutes. I need to go wrap up some, uh, I need to go wrap up some orders. I need to, like, get out by... Not even tomorrow. Tomorrow's President's Day, but... I, I want to get these done. Give me about 20 minutes. Uh, message me on Dipcord. Uh, Zeno. Um, if you don't have my Dipcord, I'll have to see. If not, I'll just send it to you on Twitter. He. Uh, give me about 20 minutes to uh, do the things I need to do in Switch, Switch games. I'm really... I'm totally down for Rise. Alright, I'll end, I'll end stream here. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. I would say I'm offline, but really, I'm not. I'll be back with more Rise when I get back. Have fun, guys. Message me on Dipcord so we'll uh, get this started.